Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon on this beautiful day. We are so grateful that you have decided to join us today on this project and this platform acknowledges Project 365. We're just happy to have you with us today, whether you are viewing us live or this afternoon, this evening, tomorrow, next week, next month, whenever you do it, we're just glad that you tuned in. I am Portia Wheatley. I am the founder and the president of a nonprofit organization acknowledged as Trophy of Life Incorporated. And we have the great privilege, the honor, and most of all, the God assignment to render hope, encouragement, and inspiration to you, our audience across the whole wide world. Let me bring in my co-host, Hello, everyone. My name is Takira Swan, and I am so happy to be here with you today. Before we bring on our hilarious guest, he's quite, <laughs> he's quite funny already, I can see. Um, I want to remind you all to please go to our YouTube page and subscribe, share, hit that notification bell, leave comments, because that is the way that you help us spread hope, encouragement, and inspiration to the entire world world the entire world that is so wonderful well as takira has said we are going to release this gentleman in the person of randolph potter randolph is one of my um i can't say childhood friends because we i'm a little older than him not that much but a little older th than him <laughs> but we kind of grew up together and um He's grown into this great entrepreneur. He's a, he's a master of many things, master of many things. But let me read just a couple of the things that he's um, interacted with thus far. He's known as the positive one. That's good all by yourself. All right. He's a, he's a, you know, <laughs> he's, a, he's a strategic planning coach, DJ instructor, American Christian mobile and radio DJ host producer and owner of Revive Sound Productions. He's been in this thing for, what, 39 plus years? And you know, after 39 plus years, you've mastered something. But today he's going to encourage our audience, Takira and I. Remember, Takira and I did a broadcast a few days ago talking about the countdown because we're almost at the end of this year, but you have time to do what you wanted to do in January. You still have time. Let's make a promise to ourselves that whatever our goal was for 2021, that we are going to do it. And believe me, Randolph Potter is here to encourage you to do that along with his sense of humor. So Randy, we're going to release you. We're stepping back and we're going to release you to the platform to do your thing. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me today. I appreciate you allow me to be upon your um, platform. Again, yes, I, my name is Randolph Potter, a.k.a. DJ Randy P, the positive one. Woo, 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 woo. And I just want to share some encouraging news to you. Um, you know, we have an up-and-coming um, symposium. Um, actually, it's this Friday. Um, we started a network back in 2000, uh, 2015, excuse me, called Think Big, Plan Bigger Network. Um, the basis of that is um, it's an exclusive um, local or regional, it's exclusively for local or regional businesses, um, nonprofits, entrepreneurs, and our goal is to collaborate, innovate, and growth and use philanthropy as our main focus. And um, so um, with that being said, two times every year, we have a symposium where we get together all the local moguls, all the up and coming new businesses or some of the small businesses that's already existed, and we sit down for two days and we design a, a customized strategic plan for whatever goals you have for the next six to 12 months. Uh, we all sit down and do it as a team. And um, this particular one we have in this Friday, uh, November the 12th and 13th, uh, go, we're going to be covering the topics of uh, strategic planning, uh, of course, for uh, implementing your goals, branding, if you have multiple business, branding, if you have one business, organizing your business, uh, leveraging philanthropy, um, to, to grow your business, uh, um, excuse me, and also vision and mission statements, and we're going to clean up everything and set you forth. And the best thing about it, y'all, is um, for 12 months, you get free coaching. So that means every month you can meet with myself or someone on a team. We'll sit down for an hour. We'll go over your goals. 
and uh, give you recommendations or just help you strategize your next move. And so I just want, I just want to share that with y'all. Yama. That's wonderful. That is some good news for entrepreneurs. Oh my goodness. So audience, you, like I said, you still have the time. Just contact him. We're going to put Randy's um, contact information in our comment section, as well as we will post the information, the flyer, um, whatever information is there. We're gonna we're gonna make sure you get that information. Well, um, let me turn this. Well, Randy, let's hear about your DJing. I hear you are Mr. Music Man. Thank you. Let's thank hear you. something about Revive Sound Productions. All right. So Revive Sound Production, we began our process back in uh, 1996, actually. Um, I've been a DJ for 39 years, but in around 96, I gave my heart to God. So I had to change my whole business up, basically. So I re rebirthed a business, which was called Revive Sound Productions. And we uh, not only cater to the Christians, we cater to all communities. So actually 67 percent of all our customers are not even Christians, you know, but we go when we go, we play Christian music. So uh, Christian DJing is one of our services sound for small to uh, mid middle mid, um, medium or small events we provide sound and we also provide um coaching so and um and empowerment so basically we do two things we empower people and we um entertain people so anything deal with entertainment we got you anything to deal with empowering i try to get you meaning that i try to bring the right person to your area to provide the uh, coaching experience for whatever you're going through in the business related um, thing. So I don't know if y'all can see my shirt. I, every day we go out and entertain um, um, seniors, uh, people with disabilities, um, di uh, daycares, learning centers, anything that's popping in the daytime, like uh, uh, business parties, on your know, corporation parties, anything that's popping in the daytime, we provide a one hour musical experience and our program is called Positive Music Time. So when we come in, you know, uh, basically we just say, hey, what time is it? And everybody say, hey, it's Positive Music Time. So we come in and do musical uh, games and activities um, in all these locations. Um, we do it in 10 different counties in counting. We're trying to do it state to state. We're about to franchise sometime next year so that everybody across the United States can um, participate in this program and um, have a, a positive musical experience. And um, so we take pride in what we do. Uh, we're here for the community. We're not here for ourselves. Even when it comes to DJing, a hey, DJ ain't about me. It's about what you want to hear and what kind of atmosphere you like to have at your event. So, you know, we really love our job. We do it every day. Um, and it's awesome. As far as my personal career, I started out DJing my first gig in 1982. Um, I had turntables in 1980. My father and mom got me some turntables, but I, I was so young. I didn't, I never been to a party or nothing like that. So I just doing it home. But then in 81, we moved to a town called Cambridge, Maryland on the East Shore of Maryland. And um, I mean, hip hop was just growing over there and they had adult DJs, but I was the only kid with turntables. Everybody else was adult. So all the kids rallied around me every weekend and pretty much every weekend, we just put speakers outside and just DJ. And uh, eventually I got my first little gig at a house party. And, um, and and what was so crazy about it was I was so used to DJing for free in the park every week. That when it was over, the young lady came up and gave me $20. So I was like, what you give me $20 for? She was like, I'm paying you. You DJ at my birthday party. And I, was, I didn't know you got paid for it. You know, that's how young I was. I didn't know it was a business. And once I got that first $20, y'all, you already know the rest is history. You know, I play, <laughs> I play everywhere. And then also what I love about our job is today I can do 10 people. Tomorrow I can do 50 people. The next day I could do seven people. The next day I can do 2,500 people. The next day I might do 70,000 people. The next day I might come back to 30 people. So what I love about my job is I'm affecting the community and affecting state. You know, I go state to state to, to provide entertainment. But I don't really, it doesn't matter to me what the crowd is. I'm there to entertain and make people have fun. So every day I have a different experience and a different love for what I'm doing. So that's what we love. And the people who, and the DJs that DJ with me, we all have the same passion for entertaining and making people have a memorable event. That is the key word, 
passion for it. You can tell that you're passionate about it. I mean, you've included from children to teens, to adults, to senior citizens, you included all of those uh, stages of age. And it's amazing how you, when it is a part of you, the same type of energy comes out of your, you articulate it so very well. And you can tell that you really love what you're doing. And I love it as well because uh, you cater to the small, the medium, and the larger sizes of audiences and uh, those that are in attendance. Some are just given to the larger numbers. But when you can have that same energy from a large number to a small number and then go back and maybe a medium-sized number and have that same energy, you, people have to love you for what you do. And you can tell that you really love what you do. So, and that philanthropy work, got to do it. You got to do Absolutely. it. Absolutely. That helps you to be uh, more productive in your uh, life of, of giving where God can give to you right, and you give to that's right. the world. That's, that's, right. that's the principle of it all. It's amazing. And with you being a God-fearing man, you'll be blessed at all times, especially when you, I love, I love laughter. My husband loved laughter. Uh, I, I, I'm trying to think if I love laughing as much as he did before I met him. I don't mm. think so. But now I got that bug. And, uh, you know, like you said, it's history now. Because when you're in my presence, oh, we're going to we're gonna be laughing a little. We're going to be smiling at the right don't time. But I mean, you know, uh, I can't say that I don't laugh when I go to a funeral. It might be something funny that happens at a funeral. You never know. But, um, <laughs> but, all, <laughs> but all at the same time, the spirit of an individual have to have some type of light like atmosphere to actually um, live a little, you know. Listen, Remember back in the. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm, sorry. Um, I'm so glad that you're saying it that way because um, my, I have I'm married. I've been blessed to be married for eight years for a wonderful wife. Her name is Alicia Potter. Uh, she's a real estate mogul. But what I what she couldn't understand when we first got married was why come I don't have a, a stereo system at home. And um, she thought when she married me, she's going to be hearing music every day. She come home. She could be jamming. And um, all I want to do is be uh, laughing uh, every day. I come home. All I want to do is look at something that's funny on TV. And she she really couldn't understand it. But after the covid hit and we was home every day and she's and I had it. And I didn't really, really know myself, to be honest. But I was able to see why I come. I like to laugh because I'm an entertainer. My job is to make people laugh. My job is to make people have fun. When I get home, I want to laugh. So even though I'm on a job and I might laugh and I'm actually not, even, actually funny. not even funny, I'm only funny when I'm on a job. If I'm if I try to say a joke at home, I'm so corny. But it seemed like uh, the experience of being around people and they might say one thing and I can piggyback yes. on what they say and make it funny, make it a fun experience. And I know that's just a Norton God on me because I know I'm not normally funny. But when I'm home, all I want to do is laugh. I say it. I say it almost every day. I'm Alicia. All I want to do is, is look at something that's going to make me laugh. And it took me years to even figure out that was what was going on with me. It's because I'm pouring out so much now and I want to be pouring into. So I'm glad that you said it because that is that's definitely true. And that's probably what your husband was a, a musician as well. You know, and that might have been, you know, a part of his DNA as well to want to be entertained when he got home or when he was around other people uh, to spread the entertainment, you know, love around. Uh, mm -hmm. so you, I just well, I didn't want to cut you off, but I definitely want to piggyback on that because my wife, I want you I know she's hearing this right now. You know, that <laughs> helps that helps explain, you know, how Randy is. And uh, so, yeah. It's, it's all good. It's all good. And it's amazing how you can incorporate that laughter in music as well. The sound, of, the sound of music. And when you are, let's go back to the business piece for, for a moment. Um, usually if you're building a business, many times it's a little stressful, but when you can have your music going, while you're doing Absolutely. business yeah. and, um, you know, different types of music make you go into different types of thoughts and modes and moods and all of that. But it's amazing how we can incorporate the two. So Absolutely. I, I, I Absolutely. appreciate I appreciate what you do. But I want to say I want to. 
I want to say something about the philanthropy before we go to another topic. Mm -hmm. um, the name of our network is called Think Big, Plan Bigger. And how I came up with the concept was that as business owners, we try to, we dream and we try to think big. I'm going to do a million dollars in sales this year. I'm going to do 10 million in sales this year. I'm going to do 100,000 in sales this year. That's a great thing, way to think. You're thinking big. But what is the bigger plan? The bigger plan is how I'm going to take what I've earned and give back to my community. So that's why our network is called Think Big, Plan Bigger. So it's somewhere within your strategic plan. You should have, hey, how I'm going to give back to the community. Like myself, for our company, we try to do four free events every year. And we charge a lot. You know, in some cases, we charge a lot of money. Some people might not could afford us. But we take pride in saying, hey, out of the whole year, we're going to at least do four. We, most of the time we do more than four, but we have a mindset that we're going to do four free events in the community. We have a mindset that we want to give back to the community, rather do coaching, rather do um, financial means. Um, within the conference, we have a young lady named Mary Hanley. She comes in and breaks down all kinds of ways that you can use philanthropy. I mean, that you could be a philanthropist within your own community. You know, it don't always have to be giving money. It could be mentoring. You could be in the summertime taking some kid and let them shadow you for the summertime, feed them, give them lunch, give them a little bit of money, but also you building confidence and you helping that kid to see a trade that he, he or she may be interested in. And then they can make a decision. Hey, I did it for a whole summer. I don't like that. Well, I did it for a whole summer. I like that. But the point is that you gave back your time to that kid and or, or kids and allowed for them to um, grow as a person. Definitely so, because the money that you gain, the money that you bring in, that money is not just for you. Absolutely not. God blesses you with that income. He wants you to sow, it, sow a percentage of it back into the community. So with those four um, um, entities that you are preparing for in 2022 i'm just asking on what tv on why tv this big screen tv <laughs> broadcast put trophy of life incorporated we are 501c3 and i will bring other businesses in for that particular uh event and then it could be networking as well so now you have three openings no and good because that. we make the fourth no good we'll that. bring in some yeah, some uh, several other businesses to come in. And again, we can make it on the Western Shore. Now that you're going to be transferring. Making a yourself. transition, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm That's still a good serving thing. my people all around the United States. It's just a, everywhere. It's just everywhere. a family you've decision. Made, you've made a great impact, not just an impression, but you made a great impact on the Eastern Shore. And uh, I believe God just is ready to promote you to another dimension in him. So it's not just another level. You, you sow your seed, you, you plant it, and God's going to water us because somebody else has had planted, water, and God gives the increase. Absolutely. So, Takira, you are in, you're, you're a music person, so I know I this is speaking to you. It is, it is. Um, what I want to say is, one, congratulations on all the great work that you're doing that, and that you'll continue to do. Um, but I really like that giving back piece, <clears throat> excuse me, that you talked about. And I am a firm believer that if you have any type of business, you are 10 times, at least 10 times more successful when you give back to your community or you do something to give back to someone else and help them or reach back and bring people with you you're always going to be more successful and the money will come i'm telling you when you have good intentions and a good heart and of course don't forget the business savvy that's that's important but reaching back and bringing people with you or helping others it's going to increase your your profit and your income so i just want to put that out there because sometimes you know when you start a business you're like yeah i don't want to I can't afford to do that. No, don't worry about it. You can't afford to help someone else. It'll all come full circle. So I really do appreciate that you do do that. Um, and I think we have a recurring theme here. Uh, if you've been watching the broadcast the past couple of days, we've really been talking about, you know, entrepreneurship and following your passions and pursuing your dreams. Guys, this is the season to do 
what you have never done, what you've been afraid to do, do something that you like. I really feel like this is the time that we should do this. And, you know, a lot of times when guests come on, like we know what they're going to talk about, of course, but we don't know exactly what they're going to say out of their mouth. And every guest that we've had for like the past week has talked about pursuing their passions and doing things that they love. So I just want to encourage all those that are listening to do that. I'm telling you, just write it down. We're coming into a new year. Don't wait to January to write things down and plan and start. No, do it right now. Yeah. Okay. And things will start rolling. Trust us. We have three people here who know what we're talking about in addition to the other guests that we've had the past couple of days. So I just want to thank you for coming on our broadcast and, and sharing that. Um, and I also really appreciate how you said, you know, you need to take time for yourself and be entertained right. yourself and laugh when you get home. Laughter is so important. And Ms. Portia, I know you know laughter is important. Let me tell you, I, I'm just going to put you out there real quick. <sighs> Depending on the event, guys, you might want to be careful if you sit next to Miss Portia Wheatley, okay? Because <laughs> she will like she's hilarious. She's has a big heart, she's very kind, very sweet, but she's also extremely funny and she will get you in trouble. Let me tell you, even growing up, like I will start laughing in church, and you're not supposed to laugh, like it's the wrong time to laugh. And she can she can laugh on the low, but you know, as a kid, you just laugh, yeah. Just be careful. Laughter is so important. So I really appreciate you stating that piece that, you know, you take time out for yourself because that's so important. So I just want to thank you once again for coming on the broadcast. And I look forward to seeing what you do with your endeavors. I really do. Absolutely. Right. I appreciate appreciate y'all having me. Also, I want to say that we have three more seats. If you're interested in coming to our strategic planning symposium, it's November the 12th and November the 13th. It will be at the Eastern Shore Innovation Center over in Cambridge, Maryland. Um, Eastern Shore Innovation Center, Cambridge, Maryland. Um, if you would like to come to the conference, I have three more seats left. We was had a, we, we can only have a certain many people this time because of COVID and the location, but um, we pretty much got the whole place packed. But I can squeeze in three more people. If you're interested, uh, please uh, put your name in the chat. Or uh, get in touch with Miss Portia or Miss Takira. Takira, Takira, excuse me. I keep <laughs> messing it up every time. Sorry, ma'am. And um, and we'll make sure you, we can um, set you on the right course to, to come. It is a paid event. We're not asking that much, for, especially for all the coaching you're gonna get for a whole year. You, you're not even paying nothing, like less than less than ten dollars a month, basically. You know, which is nothing. You know, <laughs> compared to, yeah. compared to what you're gonna get. Like she yeah. said, you know, like Takira said, having a plan is the main reason why I'm at where I'm at, because I set goals and I keep myself on a course to fulfill those goals. You don't always fulfill every goal as fast as you want to, but you still have that as a goal and you have something to push forward to. And that's how you grow a sustainable, a sustainable business and generate generational wealth for your family. Right. Yeah. Now that. That right there, that right there is, a, is enough for a whole new broadcast, yes. generational wealth. And taking those thoughts, plans, goals out of your head and putting them down on paper, that's a start. That is a start. If you want to be successful in the future, start with that. You start with little steps and those little steps become larger steps. And then you can accomplish much, much more. Again, thank you, Randy. I appreciate it. We will make sure that information is posted. And uh, we wish you much success in what you do. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Be, be, you're definitely welcome. You're very welcome. Be blessed. And we shall see you tomorrow with another share of hope, encouragement, and inspiration. We love you. God bless.